Hello guys, welcome to the next episode of Banish with me, Biffa. Thank you for joining me. Well, we left last episode a bit worried about the amount of food that we're going to have. These guys are looking like they're going to struggle. No food, it's late spring. These are 22%, 8%, 17%. Um... And we have 30... What I'm thinking of doing... 17, 8, 22... I'm thinking of getting as many farmers as we can. Let's do that. Take out any labourers. Let's lose another fisherman. Let's have max farmers. Let's unpause the game. And hopefully... They will be able to get these planted out. Let's put these over here so we can see and harvested in time before the winter. If they can do that, then we will survive the winter. I think really we want to just concentrate on food at the moment. Um, I, mean, I found in my test game, food is the thing that can cause you the most problems um, the most often. <laughs> if you run out of food, oh, auto save. If you run out of food, then uh, yes, you get lots of problems. So. What I need to do is just make sure that this can be planted and harvested all before the winter so we have no issues. So these guys are going at it. So that is actually good. That's getting up quite high. So if they can do that, then we can start concentrating on doing some other things like building this wooden house here, having people work as herbalists, getting somebody in at the school. We have nobody over here, do we, at the moment? And those sort of things we can work on. So... Let's just see how these guys go. Also, um, don't think that I've been ignoring your tips and things because I've recorded quite a few episodes ahead. Look, this is showing me now. This guy is going such a long way round to get to the forester's hut. I feel so sorry for him, but some of you had an excellent suggestion, which I'm going to put into practice right now, is a tunnel. Can we make a tunnel through here? Oh, you can't do diagonal tunnels, look. Well, that is annoying. So where's the shortest spot? Well, actually started on a bit we couldn't do. There we go. That is quite a, <laughs> that's quite a long tunnel. We'd be able to get a... Let's see. We'd be able to get a path onto the end of it. That actually turned out to be a little bit longer, didn't it? Let's, let's do that again. Tunnel, it's green. No, nope, that's going red just at the end there. Let's do it this way. That is going to be a huge tunnel. That tunnel is just getting ridiculously long. Why can't I place this tunnel? Let's do it there. There we go, look. What is that going to be in stone? 104 stone, and we've only got 20. So, at the minute, there is absolutely no point getting them to do that. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Summer, and this is nearly done. And then they're going to start building the bridge as well. Excellent. So then we can get over here and start harvesting some of this, which is what we need. So what I've been finding is, if you if you can make sure that your your guys have food... Then during the winter, you can unassign them from being farmers and you can get them set up to be builders and do all sorts of other things. Oh, look, we can see our food production is nicely going up. Are they taking it over there, popping it in? Yeah, and people are grabbing it and taking it to their houses because they are so hungry. <laughs> Which is totally understandable and it's late summer, so I'm hoping they are going to be able to harvest all of these before the winter. I don't see why not. Let's have a look there. Store for I know you can look at the items up here, but I do like to have these open as well and see. Um, early autumn. They should be able to get that in. We've given them the right amount of workers. Um, also, you guys have had some suggestions about what I've got here. Hunters and gatherers. Oh, someone's died of starvation. Well, that is not a surprise. Let's just slow this down a bit. So the Forester's Lodge... And the gatherer's hut, I'm overlapping them here, which isn't really a good idea. Because the forester's lodge, he's going to take out trees, he's going to plant new trees. Although I do need to remove the stone. The food reserve is low. No, it's doing okay. 
just got this one left to harvest. So we can close that, close that. We should get that harvested in time. We've still got the eight, eight farmers. So, yes, the Forester's Lodge, he's going to take out trees, replant new trees, and a gatherer and a herbalist, they're going to work... Oh, is it both of these? Hunt, yeah, hunting cabin can go with the Forester's Lodge, that's fine. So you could have those next to each other. A, hunt, a herbalist and a gatherer's hut, they need old wood, old trees, to be able to work effectively. Although we have no one in there at the moment. So this sort of layout I've got here really isn't that good. Um, I'm just trying to think of the logs is low. Yes, I know logs is low. How many guys have we got working on that one? Three. So let's just drop that down. One, three, four. Took another workers in this profession. Don't know where the other ones are going, but that's done. So that's okay. So we can stick a couple back on building and labouring. Labouring? Has this finished? The bridge is not finished yet. But we do have plenty of stone over here. So I think I'm going to get these guys to collect stone. Let's just collect a ruck of stone. Do you know what? I'm actually just going to get them to remove whatever resources are here. Because we need... There we go. We can get rid of the farmers now because we have food. Hopefully, that is enough to last the winter. Potatoes, onions, herbs. We've got all sorts of things there. 343. Oh, and the bridge is almost done. Is that completed? It doesn't look very good to me. No, 78%. Okay, that's fine. And then we can start expanding. Maybe have more farmland over here would be good. This area could be good for farmland. We need a lot of space. I may even relocate my Forester's Lodge. Let's have a look. Where could you get? I mean, this is a brilliant patch over here. And have like a little satellite town. I just don't want to overreach myself yet too far. What are you saying? Food and firewood is low. Have we got a guy making firewood? Fuel limit 400... We have. There should be somebody there, but let's see how these guys are doing at the moment. I may... <laughs> let's just take out those. I think what I'm going to do to help these guys here is I'm going to just stick... I can't really stick a storage area there. Can I put one here? Stick a stockpile there, just for these guys that are clearing all of this out. And I may just add another couple of people back to the Forester's Lodge. There we go. Just to try and help build up our wood supplies, which is what we need. A child was born. Oh, no, I want that and I want that. There we go. Well, we've happily made it through the winter. We're now in early spring. So I'm going to bump these guys back up and we have some food left so do you know what I'm going to turn off that one and we're just going to get five guys working on these two here that should be plenty of food to keep us in stock ready for the winter again how is our tools we have plenty of tools don't have too much stone um Let's stick a builder on there, even though it says zero. This stockpile needs completing. Actually, I think the labourers will finish that for us. I'm really hoping that they can start working on getting the stone and the wood from there to build up our stocks, because that's what we need. And then we can plan where our next move is, because we, we need to start expanding, really. What have we got here? So we've got two adults at the most and a child, we've got space in that one so that is good, so we're not overpopulating our houses this one is on pause there's no one living there I think we may... let's have a look how much do we need? a few more logs and that's about it, I'm going to unpause that and we'll add a worker in so that'll be good for that, somebody mentioned about these moving windows, look basically they are sticked to the top of the building until you touch them. So if I leave that one there, that will stay sticky to the top of the building. If I go off the screen, it will disappear. 
But of course, as soon as you move them, they become a stickied window, and you can unstick it so it jumps back to the building. So that's why it does that. Um, I want to keep an eye on these again. I might just pop these over here. So hopefully we've got enough food. Now, you see, even though I've turned this one off, are they working on there? They're not working on there. That's weird. In my test game, I would turn off one of my fields just to make sure the other two got harvested before winter. And people would still work on it. It was very weird, but that's been changed, which is good. I really want to get enough stone so I can put a, put a bridge through here. I may just mark it out and then leave it for when we've got enough stones. Uh, not a bridge, a tunnel. Let's start from there. That's a shorter one. Oh, that's good. 108. Oh, well, we'll do that and we'll see how we go. Yep, it's worked well. Early autumn and these guys are now harvesting these, which is excellent because when the health is going down, somebody has died of starvation, I think. Yeah. Oh, no. Rock the farmer. Rock has lasted so long. Poor guy. Poor Rock. Oh... I feel so sorry for him. He's been around with us now for oh, three, four episodes. Poor guy. He's finally kicked the bucket. We couldn't look after him. These guys are hungry as well. We have a stock. Yeah, this house got finished. So we have two foresters that are living in here. So they don't have to travel so far to work. But they still have to travel to get food. <laughs> so... What we want to try and do, I mean, I think a marketplace is something good to have in a little outlying areas to try and help with food collection and that sort of thing, but food is low. Well, it's not too bad now. We're picking up enough food. We're finally getting somewhere with the wood. I'm hoping we're going to have enough firewood. There we go. These guys are finally getting to work over here, which is good. Oh, winter is here. Just about harvested these in time. Yeah, look, we've got 486. Now, I think that your farmers... Let's just slow things down a tad. When they have nothing to do... Let's grab that window. So he's still a farmer, but he's picking up resources. So he's starting to chop trees. Oh, I see. This is an area that I've marked for deletion as well, haven't I? Who have I got here? A hunting cabin. Actually, I want a council collecting the wood over there. Why do I have that? Yeah, let's council that. Although I think the hunting cabin will work anywhere, because you can see the uh, the local fauna does tend to walk about all over the place, so that's fine. So good, our food production is working well. We now just need just need to make sure we get our wood production constantly working and start getting rid of all these stones and things in here which will be good because we need those there we go see this guy's going to plant anyway in here so that's good ah good good so we will easily make it through another winter excellent so let's reorganize the farmers that we have here they will become laborers instead of farmers if they've got nothing to do but I want them building I want to try and get some builders going here let's take that down to one hopefully that will be done so we need 108 stone that, I mean that's not going to be built for a while so I'm going to stick that on pause anyway and we've got nobody working here which is fine so we have made it through another winter that's good reserve of food is low it says but we're okay Alright, so we're about to spring. Oh, we're going to get a frost. <laughs> Four. Let's just take take the builders down. Six with one labourer and get them stuck into the food. And you know what? I think I might even get this one going. So that's potato. You know, we don't want potato next to potato. Let's have cabbage. And work. That's what I'm looking for. So that's cabbage, potato, and cabbage. The reason you want to sort of stagger your crops is because see that someone's left <laughs> someone's left some food there in the field all winter. Well, I suppose it would have been frozen and kept nice, so that would be okay. Um, yeah, you'd, you want to put your crops alternating and not the same crops next to each other because if I got a um, infection, insect, pesticides, pest, 
something like that. I can't think of the exact word, but uh, uh, what would it be called? I can't think what it's called, but you know what I mean. Then it can spread to the field next to it if that's got the same crop. So if you alternate them, then that's going to help with that problem. I don't know what it is that can make can make it happen. Let's just... Uh, I'm going to have to pause and just see what this is called. What is it called? Here we go, under crop field infestation. That's the word I was looking for. If the weather turns cold, turns cold early, additionally, crops can develop infestations that will kill plants. When this occurs, the crops can be harvested early. Switching the crop that grows in the field after an infestation will help stop the infestation from reoccurring. So there we go. All sort of goes green and fuzzy. So we're going to have to keep our eyes open for that. Good. These guys are going to get to work. Excellent. So, who is it that's cold? Oh, it's not cold anymore. Not doing too bad on the wood and the food. These guys are still getting all the trees from here. I don't know why that is not being built. I don't understand. Let's just up the priority on that. See, it's not actually saying about a builder. Okay, I'll leave that there and see what happens. So we really need to start getting the wood in. We're, we're struggling for wood. And the fishing dock just doesn't seem that good to me, I'll be honest. It just doesn't seem to make... Let's have a look. 309 fish before, 42 currents. I mean, there was only two fishermen there. So I've started to spread myself a bit thin, which I don't like. Are these going to be planted? They are. No one doing this one yet. 14. Late spring. Still got the summer to go. We'll be okay. That's good. Wood is building up. Excellent. Let us add one person in as a herbalist. Just so we can keep that covered. Yeah, I'll need to think about moving these and having a good look. Because, um, I mean, eventually this town is going to expand. I mean, we've got some room down there. Could expand into here as well. What's the border? I think we need to click on that. What's the border here? So it's not going to leave us much room to expand houses and things up here if we move the Forester's Lodge. But we'd have to move the hunting cabin as well. Maybe. Actually, that's probably okay, because that's not going to be affected by... Yes, yeah, so I think it's really the Forester's Lodge that we need to move somewhere else. I mean, this is a prime candidate, but it's so far away. I think that's... We could go up here. I mean, is that just as far as down here? Cross over the mountain. And it would be over here in the middle, wouldn't it? That is actually quite far. Whereas here we can stick a little bridge and plonk it up there. Yeah. We only have 16 people at the moment, are they? Oh, Nikki's living alone. Ibrahim and Makaline. Ray Burnell. And he, these names are great. Got two children in there. So that's a herbalist living there instead. Oh, we have two foresters there. So that herbalist and the gatherer are travelling a long, long way. Let us put... Let's put another house in there. Uh, what style can we go for? Let's go for the sideways style. That will save them travelling. And hopefully... How's this looking? Oh, good. We're going to have... Plenty of food. Excellent. So, over the winter, we can just concentrate there on getting some wood in. We have stone, we have wood. Oh, we don't have any builders, do we? Let's add a builder. Builder and a labourer, that should be okay. Um, I'm going to take a forester out, actually. I think he's going to collect more wood, actually going to, look, he's got new trees planted here, actually going out 
and doing it rather than working on this that's half overlapping that and having the trees taken away <laughs> anyway I'm just wondering whether just to close this down for now uh, no I'll leave it going I'll leave it going see nobody is removing these two trees do you know what I'm gonna do I think I'm just gonna cancel that it doesn't seem to be getting anywhere. Let us stick a bridge across. How close can we get? A bridge across there with a path joining up that dirt road there. And I also want to get rid of that little road there. There it is. Neaten that up a bit. And when we've got enough stone, we'll lose this path all the way round as well. So 24 logs. Yeah, okay. We're not doing too bad. We only have five food. Are these guys going to start collecting this in? Do you know what? I need to get... I need to just get this food in. Oh, I've got eight on there. Okay, we'll do that. Actually, let's get a labourer. I want to get this food in before... See, now, if we had an early... an early winter or something like that, we could have all sorts of problems. Losing... Oh, autosave. Losing this crop. So I really want these guys to get this in quick. Because we only have 17 food. This one has already been harvested, which is good. So don't go too slow, guys. Don't go too slow. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change this to 150. I think that's plenty for now, so we're not using up all our wood. What else? Have we got much wood here to cut? Yeah, we have some. We've got our labourers. Come on, guys. It's late autumn. You're nearly there. Not much left. Oh, it's still showing no food. <laughs> Why is it showing? Oh no, we're going to lose food. We're going to lose food. Let's quickly add a couple more farmers, although it's probably too late. Darn it. A hundred foot we're going to have. This is yet again going to be a harsh winter. And I don't understand that because... I had plenty of people assigned to this. Darn it. Yep. Yeah. Food is low and it's only late autumn. Let us whack. Uh, fisherman, fisherman. Oh yeah, let's lose. Let's lose all the farmers. There's no food left is there to gather. No, let's just pause a second. Let's get gatherers for uh, fishermen, four hunters, three. We want everybody going nuts. We've got 200 food. Oh, that's so annoying. Let's get a, a builder. That is so annoying. That really is annoying. Maybe I was just a bit too slow getting those guys sorted. He's going to tell me food is low, aren't you? He's going to keep telling me food is low <laughs> every time someone takes some food. I'm just hoping... I mean, what could happen here is a hunter could suddenly... pull a load of venison out of his bag. <laughs> and that would be excellent if he could. That would be really good. So we've got logs there... We just need the builders to come along and build those, so... Just thinking what I might do is just up the priority on this instead. Come on. Because we've got the resources. Oh, who's that wearing... Who's that got a purple... Hello? Cal Caldoni with ragged purple clothes is a hunter. Okay, fair enough. 
You carry on, Caldoni. You're doing a good job. Let's see who's going to come and work on this house. Here he goes. Getting something to eat. That's the problem. He's walking all that way. By the time he gets up here, he's hungry. We need some sort of food production in this area, don't we? So anywhere that's... Oh, there we go. You're going to start... Oh, thanks for the two taps of the hammer. <laughs> Very helpful of you. Yeah, we need somewhere that's... There's not many trees left, is there? What's this guy doing? Come, stand still. Getting something to eat. Yeah, people are walking so far that they're becoming hungry. Let's have a look. Mm -mm -mm. Just wondering whether I could see food is only stored in the barn. I mean, if I put another storage barn over here, would some of that food be placed in the barn instead of being taken all the way over to this barn? Is that how it would work? Do you know what? There's only one way to find out. That is not the barns. How much is that going to take? 48 and 16. It's going to use a lot of our... That's going to use a lot of our stuff. So, you know, he's going over here working. He's meant to be my builder. Oh, he is. He's finishing that road. Okay, fair enough. Late winter, but I think soon it's going to be... We'll be running low on here. Firewood. Soon we're going to get into spring, aren't we? I don't want to miss it this time. Get the guys set up right. Um, she so could have got the gatherer here as well, collecting early spring. Right, okay. Let's get... Let us get the guys on this food straight away. So what can we have? And I'm also going to not work that one. Because that worked better last time, didn't it? So what can I lose? We'll lose a gatherer, a fisherman and a hunter. Takes us up to five. Just wondering whether I can lose... Lose a forester so we still have a labourer. Okay. I think that'll be fine. See, that's what I've done before. I've, d I've gone overkill, tried to do three, not had enough time to collect it, and it, and I've actually wasted more than I would have lost if I just left that field. So, I think that is the way to go this season, to make sure we do not run out again. So, I'm going to... I think I'm going to try and counsel any other gathering that we've got going on here. There is an option for that, isn't there? Council removal. Remove resources. None. No, that's not what I want to do. Remove structures. Isn't there one just to council? Oh, stop removal tasks. Yeah, I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. They're going all the way round. Is there any removal tasks going on? Any? No. Okay, that's good. So... Harvest trees. I'm going to harvest... Let's just do the near ones for now. And hopefully that's not too bad. They can run across there and... Yeah, we should be okay for food. I just want to get to the point where I've got enough food <laughs> and enough wood to comfortably get through a winter and be able to then... Where are these guys going? Get my guys doing something else. Because at the minute, we just sort of chasing our tail over and over again. And we don't seem to really be getting ahead of ourselves. So, is any guys working in here? I can hear some banging and clanging. Who's this chap? Why is he running up here? Is he going to build this bridge? No. Where the heck's he going? Okay, let's... There he is. Getting something to eat. A gatherer. So has he just run all the way round? Now he's going to run all the way back. 
yeah, we need to do something about this. This is... This is ridiculous. So, I mean, I could... I mean, an orchard is going to take a long time to... We could have a pasture, but when we've got no chickens or anything like that... Hunting cabin... I think I just need to put up a storage barn here. So... Some of these food items can be put in here. I think that's the only way I can go. They've got somewhere to live. They just need somewhere to have some food stored here. Because they're just going... So f I mean, that person there just walked all the way around and straight past where they're working. Just so they can come back and get some food. That is just ridiculous. Okay, well, these guys are harvesting. It's early autumn and they're still pretty slow. Let's, let's just up that to eight. See, that's more than you need. I always want to make sure that we get all this in because I don't understand that, you see, because I've given enough farmers, from what it says, the total number of jobs available in that profession. So can I up the number of citizens working? See, it's saying there is only a total of eight allowed to work. So the fact that I've put... Oh, no, I've put eight on. But there's only six jobs at sea. Now, what's this chap here? What's he thinking? Okay, so you can't put more farmers in. So if I drop that down to six, he's going to lose that over his head. Okay, so I literally can put the max and then that's it. And any more than that and they don't know what to do. Hmm, see I don't understand that then. So I put enough people in. Oh, I was a bit short, wasn't I? I keep saying I put enough people in. I didn't, did I? I was short by one or two. So maybe that's why. Okay, well, looks like we're still going to make it. So that's good. I'm going to keep that at six until they've totally harvested that. And then we're going to get building like mad. That food's been snapped up. There was 200. People are nicking it for their houses. Put it back. So you've got venison, you have potatoes and cabbage, you've got cabbage, mushroom, venison and roots, lovely old chewy roots, you have got every sort of food available, you've got plenty of food, don't tell me food's low, food's low, cabbage, fudge, you've got plenty of food, you have onions and fish, fire was low as well. You don't have... A hundred cabbages. A hundred cabbages. Man, that is enough. Oh, okay. So we don't need... Stop telling me food's low. Oh, no. We're going to lose some stock again. Come on. Get harvesting. Get harvesting. And somebody's left a bucket of cabbage. Man alive. You guys, I tell you. Okay, well, the fields of the fields have yielded, and it says zero food. <laughs> uh, let's take the farmers off, and we're going to add... Let's get the builders going. And we're going to get the gatherers going a bit as well. Let's drop the gatherer down one. Okay, let's see how that goes. I'm actually thinking... Yeah. Food is... Fire was low. Food is low. Everything is low. I think we're going to... Where's the one I'm looking for? We move resources. Let's get... Keep the guys busy for the winter. Let's clear out this area here. See how they go with that. And I think that's the end of this episode. Oh, our bridge is built. Next episode, we are going to remove this forester's lodge and stick it up here. Give it a nice prime bit of land all to itself. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the episode. That is always appreciated and it does help a lot. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.